Hi, I'm Dr. Hamilton Stubbs with Dr. Hamilton Stubbs Sleep and Total Wellness Institute and Sleep Clinic for Children and Adults. Today I want to tell you about the Auto Positive Airway Pressure Machine by Philips Respironics, the Dream Station. Let's get started. This is a Dream Station APAP machine or Auto Positive Airway Pressure Machine and a humidifier. This part is the machine and this part is the humidifier. So let's start with the machine. When you get your Dream Station, you have the on button. This is also how you turn it off. Right now it's on. You just press it and next to it is your ramp. This is a triangle. The ramp is a comfort feature. It allows the machine to start at a lower pressure than the pressure that's needed to open up your airway. And if you need a high pressure to open up your airway, this will make it so that you can fall asleep with a lower pressure and the machine will gradually increase its pressure until it, it's set to the, uh, until it gets to the pressure required or pressure that, where it's set to open up your airway. It allows you to fall asleep easier. Next you'll see that the front of the machine has a window here and it has a button. And this button allows you to access the many features that this machine offers. And one of the features that I think is important for you to know about is the feature called My Info. And that's the one that we're, I'm displaying now. This feature will allow you to look at your compliance for one day, seven days, or 30 days. And this is important if your equipment or your mask, tubing, filters are being paid for by your insurance company. Because some insurance companies no longer pay for your rental of your equipment or your supplies if you're not using your machine 70% of the time. <coughs> And 70% is about five hours a night, five nights out of the week. So you can always go in here and see how you're doing. And if you find that you're falling a little short, if you take naps, be sure to use your machine. That might make the difference in you getting um, your 70% compliance. The other part of this machine I want to show you is here. This is where your filters will go. I've taken them out earlier, but they're right here. This is your uh, reusable, I'm sorry, this is the disposable filter, and this one is thrown out. It gets um, a gray color when it's dark and ready to be replaced. And this is the uh, filter that is um, reusable. This white part will get dark and you just pop it out, wash this, you put these back together and this will go into the um, unit and it fits right here. Next to your filters is the memory card. This memory card pops out so make sure that your memory card has been is all the way in and the way you know it is once you push it it makes a little click. I don't know if you can hear that but you'll hear it on your machine. If you don't hear the click your card may not be in and if it's not all the way in it won't record accurately and this is what your sleep specialist or the company that sold you your machine is uh, using <coughs> to download compliance um, for your insurance company. So I think that's all we have. Oh, one other thing, the power cord. That's here. This is the power cord and it attaches to another part of the power cord where this part comes loose. This part goes into the wall. Sometimes when you're traveling, people may forget to take this power cord with you. So you'll disconnect your machine and leave the power cord in the wall. Don't forget to do that. Uh, don't forget to 
take your power cord with you and put that in your travel bag. If you forget your power cord, when you get home, don't panic. Just call the company and a uh, new power cord can be ordered. It may not be covered by your insurance, but they usually aren't that expensive anymore. Let me just briefly go over this humidifier. You'll open it by pulling this catch toward the front of the machine and then lift this up. You open up the water chamber and it pops out. Fill this with distilled water to the line. It has a line that tells you the maximum fill line. Don't go over that. You could damage the unit. When you want to clean your humidifier, you take this out and I like to wash it out with dishwasher and sometimes mix a little dilute vinegar with water one part to two parts and rinse that around to kill bacteria and other things that could be growing there. This is a standard tubing that's hooked to the humidifier and it has three little holes here. You align them and just press this here. The other end is just a standard tubing and this will fit on a mask from almost any company that makes a positive airway pressure mask. So you may find that you, a mask from a company other than Philips Respironics is more comfortable. Don't be concerned. Just take this and make sure that it fits. You can use a different mask with this machine. So when you are traveling, try to remember to take your travel bag because these machines are very expensive and uh, your insurance company may have a requirement of five to seven years before they'll replace your machine. So if you damage your machine or you break it, um, they, may not, they may not replace it. So the safest way to travel with your machine is with this travel bag. And here's the bag. It comes with a padded inside and a little netting where you can put your manuals. This is also a good place to put questions that you have for the respiratory therapist, if that's who fitted your mask, or your sleep specialist, or if you've seen a, uh, your primary care doctor for follow-up. Just write your questions on a piece of paper and drop it in here. Bring it with you to your appointment. This is a strap for carrying it, nice for over-the-shoulder carrying. And here's a strap that if you um, want to slip this on a piece of luggage, like the handle of your luggage, this might make it easier for carrying it. You want to do a few things. If you're a commercial driver, make sure you have your power cord. But you might be able to order a uh, battery so that this will be more mobile. Take your unit with you. If you are traveling by air or on a cruise line, call before, like a two or three weeks ahead of time, and let them know that you'll be traveling with a positive airway pressure machine and ask them if there's any special arrangements that are needed uh, for you to use your machine. Don't usually need an adapter anymore, but you might want to check and make sure. This machine comes with a warranty. Be sure to send in the card. And it also has a manual published by the manufacturer. These are my thoughts and my uh, recommendations based on years of experience. But if you are looking at your manual, the manufacturer has the last word on what is the best use, maintenance, cleaning of this equipment. So that would override my recommendations. If you'd like to learn more about our telemedicine program, which we have for commercial drivers uh, who are living in the state of Virginia, please uh, visit our website, www.drhamiltonstubbs.com, or call us. Our number is 804-273-9900. If you have a CPAP machine and you're having difficulty using it, maybe you might like to read our ebook. How to Love My CPAP Machine. And that can be downloaded from our website. So this is the end of my presentation 
on Phillips Respironics Dream Station. I hope this has helped you, and I hope you have a good night's sleep.